Good afternoon, Pats fans, and welcome inside the Brand Center. As tonight, the Regina Pats host the Medicine Hat Tigers in the 16th Annual Cancer Awareness Night Game. My name is Dante DeCarry, and he's Drew Posey, and we're excited to tee up this Friday night tilt between your Pats and Tigers as the Pats look to break their three-game losing streak. Now, Drew, the Pats are coming off a difficult loss on Wednesday, a 5-1 loss to the Prince Albert Raiders on Wednesday night inside the Brand Center, a game in which Kelton Pine had to make tremendous saves throughout the game. It was scoreless through one period of play. The Pats trail 2-1 going into the third, and then obviously Prince Albert scored three goals in the third period to take it from Regina. Uh, Tanner Howell returned to the lineup, scored for the Pats, but how does Regina bounce back today? Well, you know, they just need to find more offense. Just one goal in each of the last three games, and uh, I think maybe that's starting to come. They outshot the Raiders in the final two periods there. Uh, unfortunately, the Raiders had uh, three more power plays than the Pats, and they scored twice, so, uh, you know, limit the penalties. Uh, just find a way to get offense, and, uh, you know, when you find a way to get offense, the defense will come as well because they'll be spending more time in the attacking zone, so I think that's going to be the key for the Regina Pats tonight against what we know is a tough Medicine Hat team, despite their struggles early on in the season. Yeah, I mean, you look at this Medicine Hat Tigers team, the last time they Face off against the Regina Pats was Saturday in the Tigers Cancer Awareness Night game. So pretty excited to see the Pats and Tigers wear cancer themed jerseys tonight inside the Brand Center. Uh, but it was the Tigers escaping with a 5 1 victory over the Regina Pats. If you look at the last three losses for the Pats, yes, obviously they've only scored three total goals, but to me, I don't feel the score has really told the whole story. I think the Pats have had a lot of compete recently. They have. They just have to find a way to, you know, finish. And uh, finishing is a big thing, and sometimes it's hard to do, and, you know, the puck just doesn't doesn't bounce the way that you want it to, but uh, you can get that puck luck by just, you know, putting in that little bit of extra effort if you can do that. And, uh, you know, things will start to come. Tanner Howe came back. We knew he was going to score immediately. So uh, that's a big boost for the Pats lineup. And, uh, you know, he got that one game under his belt where he was kind of getting the feel of things again. And so he should be flying tonight. Yeah, and Braxton White had also returned to the lineup on Wednesday for the Regina Pats. So some additions are coming back. This team is starting to now get healthy, and uh, Kelton Pine is still playing some phenomenal hockey as well. Another 30 save performance on Wednesday night uh, for the White City Saskatchewan product. Drew and myself are supporting our cancer theme merchandise, which is available at the Regina Pats store. So head to the Pats store and uh, find either a t-shirt or a crew neck. Those are available, and uh, all the proceeds from the sales of the jersey that the Pats will be wearing tonight and as well as this merchandise will go to the Cancer Foundation of Saskatchewan. So all of the proceeds of everything tonight inside the Brand Center will go to a great cause as well. Again, uh, it's your final day to place an auction. Uh, place a bid on an auction part of me. Uh, those will be, be available at ReginaPats.com. So head to the Pats website and find out more information on how you can bid on an auction for the Pats jerseys in which they will be wearing tonight against the Medicine Hat Tigers. Tickets are available at ReginaPats.com. Doors open at 6 p.m. Pucks drop at 7. We'll see you tonight.